Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and in today's video, I will continue to share information with you about the Google UX Design Certificate Program. So, in my last video, I talked with you guys why I decided to take the certificate program, what the courses look like, what the course, what's the content that the certificate program offers to you. And you guys were so nice with me on the comments. Um, you guys were really supported with me and I was so happy about that. And you guys also had a lot of questions about the, the whole certificate program, about the course that the Google offered. So I decided to create a series of videos to share with you guys or to try to answer your guys' questions. So the most asked question there was, Sarah, how can I get financial support to complete this course? So I'll be completely honest with you, that wasn't my path. I didn't have financial support to do the video, but I did some research and I'm gonna share with you what I learned then. So, if you truly need financial support to do the course, and I know the past couple years, they were really challenging years for everyone. Some people lost their job, they got furloughed, or they had some financial hardship. So I know it's been really tough years. So if you are in this situation, you wanna learn something new, you wanna improve your skills, you wanna maybe have another career, uh, but you are struggling financially, that might be the path that you could take. So I'm gonna show you a step by step, a screen by screen, how you can apply for that. There's a form uh, for most Coursera courses that you can apply if you need that financial support. I don't know how Coursera judges what are their requirements um, to give people the financial support, uh, but I'm gonna share you how you can get that started um, and I hope that is helpful for you. Okay guys, now I'm gonna share with you screen by screen, step by step, what you need to do in order to apply for the financial aid. So first, go to the Coursera website. So it's Coursera.org and then I'm gonna search for Google UX Design. When you do that, a list of course will appear. The first one will be the Google UX Design Certificate Program. But have in mind that this certificate program, it's a bunch of course combined. So there are a lot of course and in Coursera that was made. If you wanna get the certificate, you need to complete all those course to get your certificate in the end. But if you are interested in working just one of those courses, learning just that specific skill, you can do that as well. So when you are applying for financial aid, I believe you also need to apply for the course you are interested on. I don't think you can just apply for the certificate program and receive that financial aid for the entire certificate program. I believe you need to do one by one. So let's say you are interested in the first one, which so you click on that and another tab will show up. So here says the course, it's part of the certificate program offered by Google. You're gonna see this call to action say enroll for free, it starts September 30th when this video is being recorded. Um, Coursera does offer a few days for free, so you can try the platform and check if you really like the course or if you like the platform, but after that, your card will be charged. So if you truly need financial aid, if you cannot afford the course at this moment, you can apply for this financial aid here. So you have this small link over here, you will click on that, a pop-up screen will show up explaining that applications take at least 15 days to get revealed. So I'm gonna press continue to the application. And like I said, I was fortunate, so I didn't need the financial aid. I'm gonna show you the questions we have, but I won't apply myself. I'm gonna cancel everything in the end. I just wanna show you uh, what is available. So they will say financial aid, we are proud to offer a financial aid program that helps people assess the skills they want to learn. Our program was created for those, to help those who cannot afford to pay for a course on their own. We ask that every applicant shares accurate information of their application and commits to finish Coursera courses, which means say the truth in your application, just say the truth, do not lie in order to get that. 
and finish the course. Like if you got financial aid, make sure you finish that course, okay? Because if you don't, or if you don't really need that, you're gonna be in the way of other people who really need that financial aid. So if you do need that, um, click share accurate information, commit to finish the course, and when they will ask you, please type the follow sentence. I agree to the terms above. And continue. In the next part, they will ask you for your background information, your education status, socioeconomic status. So they will ask here education background. You can choose between high school, some college, college degree, master degree, advanced degree or other. So here you need to say what is your education background. Then they will ask your annual income in US dollars. I know there are some other people here uh, that are not from US. I know in my last video I had this girl from Portugal that was watching my video from Portugal. I had some Brazilian folks watching that as well. So if you are not, if you're not living in the US, and maybe you have a different currency or country, make sure you convert that to US dollars. Think about the people who are reviewing this application. If they're located in US, best way they can judge if you can afford the course or not, is that they see the amount you earn if you, are, if you have a job right now in US dollars. For example, in Brazil, the currency is real, which the numbers would be totally different and wouldn't make sense in this area, in this annual income. So let's say if I was living in Brazil, I need to get my current salary and convert that to US dollars. And there are many websites there that you can do that. It's really easy, you just need to Google that. So then after you have that, put over here US dollars, the amount of US dollars that you make. Then in the next one, you need to state your employment status. So they will ask you if you work full-time, part-time, if you are unemployed, or if you are a student. Uh, so make sure you mark the correct information. They will ask you how much can you afford to pay per month in US dollars. So let's say you cannot pay the entire uh, membership uh, value for Coursera per month, but perhaps you can pay $15, you can pay $10, you can pay $5, or you cannot pay at all, so you put zero there. Uh, show then if you can afford a little bit or if you cannot afford at all, make sure you write there. Then the first question will be asked there and you can write your answer. Why are you applying for financial aid? Do you think this financial aid will be beneficial for you for what? Will be, after you complete that course, you will be able to have a job perhaps or maybe you will improve your career with that. Uh, you will learn a new skill, how that's important for you, and why you're applying for the financial aid. So why can't you afford the course on, by yourself? Um, and I know the past year has been really hard, so maybe you are unemployed at the moment that you're applying for this financial aid. Or maybe you, you have a, a job, maybe a full-time job, but you're helping your family members and life is hard. So I'll explain here. Uh, be truthful about your current situation and why you need that financial aid. They require you to write a minimum of 150 words because I feel like they really want to understand your current situation at the moment. So justify that, why you need that. Then the next question will be, how will taking this course help you achieve your career goals? So explain to them, um, maybe you're in another field and you are not happy or maybe you're not earning enough money and you feel like if you learn that new skill, you'll be able to change your career uh, to this other profession. Or maybe you're already in a profession but you feel like you need to learn more to become a better professional and to really improve your career. So explain that, how that can help you out. How can that make your career better for you? And again, you need to write at least 150 words there. Then help us improve. Uh, they say we are always looking for opportunities to improve our financial aid program for learners like you. 
and we would love your feedback. This information will not affect your ability to receive financial aid. And when they ask you, would you consider using a low interest loan to pay for your course? And then you mark here as a no. We want to know if, if they or someone can offer you a loan with a low interest, if that would help you to pay for that course. And we're saying we just want your opinion so that wouldn't affect if you get or not your financial aid, so you mark that. And if you say no, they ask you to why, so we can better understand that. Anyway, you answer that, then you're gonna mark another robot, and then right here, after you answer all this questionnaire and you mark another robot, this probably will change color and you're gonna press here to submit your application, okay? And that will be it. And when it will be submitted, they will review your application and then you'll be let know if your application was approved or not. Hopefully will, and then you'll be able to enjoy the course. My case, fortunately, I don't need this at this moment, so I'm gonna just cancel the application. That was it, that was today's video. I hope that was helpful to you, beneficial for you. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you have suggestions or questions, make sure you have that uh, in the comments below. I'll be reading that before I record the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next video.